The Oculus Quest 2 is a really good deal. For 300 bucks, you get a standalone Beat Saber and Resident Evil 4 machine. You get fully wireless PC VR. You just stick a power bank on this thing and you can run around your house playing Blade and Sorcery all day. Not all day, but for a while. And you get a hold of a 120 hertz display, which was a free upgrade. And all it costs, again, is 300 bucks and your privacy, your complete privacy. Check out our video on why this is such a good deal. <laughs> so moving past that, what if there was even more features that make this a better deal on top of that? Well, Oculus recently enabled the pass-through API for developers. And if you've never used an Oculus Quest before, we've, it's got a feature where you draw a circle or a default little circle and it keeps you from running outside of that. If you walk outside the circle, it turns on, I'll talk about that in a second. It basically pauses your game and lets you see what you're doing and get back in the circle. We lovingly call it the safety circle because you walk out the safety circle and you're probably gonna run into a ceiling fan or something. No, you'll be running into a box fan or Legos. You'll step on Legos, whatever. Deploying the Oculus safety device. How is this any safer the Quest 2 when you're surrounded by armed mouse traps? <laughs> the safety circle. You'll be safe. Or, or else. else. <laughs> now, with the pass-through API, you're allowed to bypass the circle. Basically, what it lets you do is it lets you see through the little infrared cameras that it uses to, one, alert you you're outside the circle, and two, just track your controllers. And spy on you. So if you've never used like an IR display, I personally had it, it turns on this weird kind of black and white grayish vision. It's a little distorted because of the lens positions. But again, we call it predator vision or zuck vision as I like to call it. So again, with the pass through API, you can just start walking and you're seeing entirely in this predator zuck vision. And it's pretty crazy. So the whole reason behind the IR vision is that it lets you see well in low light conditions. So you can play your quest in less than optimal lighting, though I recommend having some good lights. Now the side effect of that, now some may call it a bug, but we call it a feature here. <laughs> so with the predator vision, IR vision, you can walk around at night with this thing on because, well, IR vision is it's uh, not visible to your regular eyes. So with a small IR torch, you basically have a flashlight that nobody else can see, but you know, you walking down the road, which is creepy. But again, you let this in your house already. So like, come on. And also interesting. So to show off a very realistic use case for this, we decided to get Gab and his very special set of skills for this. It's funny because it has all this weird stuff in front of me. Yeah, but, you, can't, uh, you can't stop it. I know. Um, okay, so we're out in my driveway. It is uh, very dark out here. It's not dark enough to where you can't say, make out, you know, definition of things on the ground. We have a pretty good, like, mostly full moon going, but uh, it's really dark, especially when you put the headset on. If you have the headset on, you don't have the IR blaster on, it's basically pitch black out here. Like you can see my garage light is on, but realistically, if any of these lights were off, it would probably make this experience better because it works better when it's darker. <laughs> you don't have any light intrusion. So it's completely black on the ground. I can't see anything, but when I light up the IR blaster, I can see things. I can see my unicycle. Let's go for a little ride. Oh wow, it is a little bit laggy. It's a little um, disorienting because it's just like a millisecond behind, but uh, that shouldn't affect how I ride. So let's go for a little ride. Oh, 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 oh boy, I haven't ridden in like six months, so this is kind of uh, this is kind of different. Uh, all right, there we go, and we're off. Hopefully my, oh, <laughs> I could see that, but I rode into it anyway. <laughs> lag. <laughs> Blame lag for my vision. Hopefully my audio isn't cutting in and out. I don't think I'm too far from the camera. All right, here we go. 
So there's a giant pothole in front of me that I can see and go around. God, my road is so beat up, it makes this hard. There's a trailer right here, don't run into that. But yeah, as you can see, I can see the road, but when I flick the IR blaster off, I can't see anything. I'm riding completely in the dark. Turn it back on, or even brighter, I can see more. <laughs> God, this is so cool. But yeah, it being a little bit behind is still kind of disorienting. <laughs> and there it is, riding a unicycle in the dark. <laughs> You're a budget Sam Fisher. <laughs> Bravo six, <laughs> going dark. It's so cool. <laughs> so as you can see, with some better IR torches, you know, maybe something fixed to the helmet or whatever, it could be a pretty tolerable experience if you don't have a problem playing real life at 120 ping. <laughs> that must have been so nauseating. But that is a singular use case for a weird little API that honestly anybody can enable. I mentioned it's for developers. Basically all you gotta do is just go on the website and check a box saying, why yes, I am developer, and run a, that's free, and then run a, another free program called SideQuest to just put on that free program I'm using. I forget the name of it, but do your own research. I don't wanna make it too easy for you guys to be creepers in the bush. At any point, this could all get patched or taken away from us. The Zuck giveth, the Zuck taketh away, as they say. This used to be a bug you could exploit and they got rid of it. And then they gave us as an API later, so maybe, maybe we'll be okay. But not an intended use case. It's a slight liability, but it's cool nonetheless. And I'm excited to see what other weird features we can get off of a $300 VR headset. By the way, don't try this at home. I really don't want to hear about you guys. One, not knowing how to ride a unicycle and just eating concrete. And two, I don't want to hear about you guys just rolling off into a ditch or into a car. Please be careful, guys. Let. Yeah, that tree just came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please use some restraint. Let the let the idiots at Coilwine do this nonsense for you, and you know, get comment, get comments. No, I get comments, and they're scary. <laughs> so, anyways, if you guys have any other ideas or stuff you've experimented with, with you know, VR headsets in general. We've got a Quest 2 and we've got a Valve Index. Leave a comment or hop in the Discord. Remember to like the video and get subscribed. So hang out on the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> hang out on the Discord. Hang out on the Discord. Hang out on the Discord. <laughs> that way we can argue in real time. <laughs>